Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're somebody at home who is used to doing this out on the greens and you're really struggling to get any sort of control on the firm greens at the moment, you're getting no spin, you can't check up those little chip shots, you're embarrassing yourself out on the golf course, you've come to the right place. I'm gonna show you today the secrets that I use, that they use on tour at the moment, how they get that spin around the green, how do they get it to fire in really, really quickly and then just stop on a dime. I'm going to talk you through what I do on the golf course and hopefully it's going to help you at home. You put these into play guys, make sure you listen to every single one of them because they all really, really matter. Right, let's get stuck in. Okay, so first up, it's wedges. Are you using the right equipment? So I change my wedges every six to eight months, believe it or not. Yes, it can be a bit costly at times, but you've got to make sure that your grooves are firstly clean and also really, really sharp. If you're using old wedges with old grooves, they are just not gonna spin. So it's not even worth trying to hit those chip shots. So make sure you've got sharp wedges like I'm showing on screen now. And to add to that as well, you need to use a premium ball. If you're using something like a pinnacle, a top flight, or if you're anything like my old man using a range ball, it ain't gonna spin. You need to make sure you're using a premium golf ball, ideally a four piece, something they use out on tour, you know, that's gonna have that soft outer core so that you can actually create friction between sharp grooves and a soft golf ball. That's starting you off in the right place. If you haven't got those, you ain't got no chance. So make sure that you've got clean grooves and a premium golf ball. So next on the list is understanding your lie. Now, on the golf course, you're gonna get various lies, whether you're in the rough, the semi-rough, or lucky enough to be in the fairway or the fringes. The ball is gonna react very, very differently out of all of these lies. So for example, if you're sitting in the rough and you can't really get the club behind the ball as cleanly as you would like, the ball is simply not going to spin that much out of that lie. So when I firstly get to my ball, I put my bag down, I am assessing the lie. I'm thinking, can I get spin on this? Can I get the club firmly behind the ball? is there going to be any grass in between the club face and the golf ball at impact because that is going to drastically affect the amount of spin that you put on the golf ball so don't be too hard on yourself if you're in the rough and the ball releases a little bit more and you play for it to run out that's absolutely fine but do realize that when you're in the short grass that's when you're able to create a lot of spin on the golf ball so let me talk you through that also guys if you're thinking sam you got lipstick on i haven't my lips are so sore at the moment so don't judge. The next one is slope. Now, this one is really important. So I'm always checking to see if the ball is on a slight slope. So if it's on a down slope, the ball is gonna come out a little bit lower. It's gonna come out a little bit more fiery because essentially you're actually taking loft off the club. So it's gonna come out a lot lower and a lot more kind of skippy and stoppy as opposed to that high floaty one like it would do on an upslope. So all the time I'm reading the lie and that is really affecting where I'm gonna think I'm gonna land the ball and how much it's gonna spin. So if I'm on an upslope, then I know that the ball's gonna come out a lot higher and it's gonna stop a lot quicker. Whereas if I'm on that downslope, it means it's gonna come out a lot more fiery and a lot more skiddy. So that's really gonna affect the amount of spin that you have on the golf ball in different sorts of flights. Now it's time for the exciting part. I'm gonna show you how to actually impart spin on the golf ball. So three main areas that I focus on. Let's just presume I've got 20 yards. I've got a flat lie. I've got a really good lie in the fairway. My, clubs, my club face is really clean. I've got a good premium golf ball. My first thing now is a nice narrow stance. From here, I'm gonna make sure that my club face, and my club handle, sorry, isn't forward. It's actually centered like that. So you can see I'm actually centered there. And throughout the whole swing, I'm gonna make sure that I stay really centered. I'm not swaying on a certain foot here. I'm making sure that I stay really centered. And here's the key part at the end, making sure that I release the club properly. So I've got my stance ready. My handle is back like here, keeping everything centered. I'm gonna make sure that as I turn through the ball, everything is connected there. There's no hand flip here. There's no handle drag like that. I'm making sure that this is aligned with my belt buckle and I'm just turning. Let me show you a quick example of that. So everything's center. That thing is loaded with spin. But that's just an example of the three things that I'm focusing on to get loads of spin on the golf ball. Hopefully that helps.
So guys, those are my main areas that if you wanna start spinning the golf ball around the greens, you've gotta focus on each one of them and make sure that you're using them. Next time I'm thinking of doing a video of what I do on the golf course when I think about drawing and fading little chip shots, because as you can imagine, they actually spin very, very differently when they hit the green. So a draw spin is gonna kick to the left for a right-handed golfer and release left, whereas a fade spin is a little bit more kind of left to right on the green. So that's something that I'm working on as well. But next time I might think about doing that video. Let me know if that'd be useful. Hope this one's been really, really enjoyable. Hope you've enjoyed it at home. Let me know in the comments how you get on and look forward to seeing you all soon. Thanks guys.